This video contains complete how-to instructions for crack injection repair. To make sure your repair job is completed correctly and lasts for years, follow these directions closely. The surface seal and peel foundation repair kit includes all the materials and accessories for low pressure injection repair of 6 to 10 linear feet of crack. Complete instructions and material safety data sheets. Two cartridges seal and peel surface seal and port adhesive. Two wooden sticks. Twelve surface ports and caps. Two cartridges injection foam. Two mixing nozzles. One injection hose assembly with shutoff valve. Safety goggles. Two pair rubber gloves. One plastic trowel. One wire brush and one drop cloth. This repair kit works on both textured poured walls and non-textured poured walls. The tools required to do the job are standard caulking gun, a pallet for mixing seal and peel, paper plate or cardboard, clean plastic squeeze bottle filled with one to two cups of water, four inch piece of cloth or duct tape to use as a starter tab with the seal and peel. Crack preparation. Place the drop cloth on the floor in front of the work area. Clean the surface surrounding the crack using a wire brush. Remove loose or flaking concrete, efflorescence, paint, or coatings to approximately one to two inches on either side of the crack. Wipe the surface clean of dust and debris. The surface must be dry for proper installation of injection ports and surface seal. For best results, if the surface is wet, wait a few days until dry, or if necessary, use a hot air gun, hair dryer, or oil-free compressed air to dry the wall. Marking the surface port locations. Ports are placed apart the thickness of the concrete wall, normally 8 or 10 inches, and centered over the crack. Mark the first port location at the point where the crack is closest to the floor. Continue marking all the port locations along the entire crack as shown. Surface Port Attachment Here's a tip. Put on both pairs of gloves, one over the other. If the outer glove becomes unusable, simply peel off that glove and you have a clean, fresh glove ready to go. Place a seal and peel cartridge into your caulking gun. Remove the plastic nut, then twist and pull to remove the plastic seal. Dispense a small amount of seal and peel to be used as the port adhesive. Using a wooden stick, mix thoroughly. Remove the cap from a surface port. Apply a small amount of mixed adhesive to the base of the port as shown here. Place a port over the crack at each pre-marked location so the entire crack is ported. Note, do not allow the adhesive to block the bottom of the port opening or the crack under it. For sealing the crack, dispense approximately one-third of a tube of seal and peel onto a pallet and mix thoroughly. Do not mix more than one-third at a time. Excess amount of mixed material may harden before the application can be completed. Using the plastic trowel, apply mixed seal and peel one-eighth of an inch thick, about two inches wide, along the entire length of the crack. Apply extra material around the base of the ports to increase thickness to about one-quarter of an inch. When you come to the top of the crack, embed a starter tab a piece of cloth or duct tape into the surface seal itself. If the crack goes above the soil grade, you will need to apply a layer of sealer on the outside of the foundation, as shown here. Be careful not to work the surface seal into the crack, just paste over the surface. Expect to use both tubes, the total amount provided for an 8-foot crack. Let the surface seal cure before beginning injection, about one hour or until fingernail hard. It's not recommended to wait overnight. Procedure for injection. Flush the crack with one to two cups of water poured into the top port using the plastic squeeze bottle or by filling the hose assembly several times. Water should come out of every port below the top one, indicating that the crack is contiguous and that ports are not blocked by sealer. 
Load one of the injection foam cartridges into your caulking gun. Remove the plastic nut, then twist and pull to remove the plastic seal. Place a mixing nozzle over the end of the cartridge and attach it with the plastic nut. Attach the wide end of the flexible hose assembly over the mixer tip and push it in firmly. Then press the narrow end of the hose assembly firmly into the lowest port. Begin injecting slowly with low pressure, allowing the resin time to flow into and fill all the small fissures until the resin begins to flow from the port above. Plug the port with the cap provided and move up to the next port. Repeat this procedure for each port along the entire crack. Note, the secret to effective crack injection is patient, low pressure introduction of the resin. Small or hairline cracks will require three to four minutes at each port for proper filling to take place. Small resin leaks may appear due to pinholes in the surface seal application or if the injection has begun before the surface seal has completely set up. Pinhole leaks can be minimized by careful application of the sealer, but even when they do occur, it does not affect a successful outcome. When the foaming process is complete, after three to four hours, the seal and peel and ports can be removed. Just pull down on the starter tab. The result is a clean crack repair with no surface seal left on the wall. Your repair is now complete and you may finish the wall as desired.